Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I got something really cool to show you again and I, I know I've done a video in the past on this but I just want to show it again because it just looks so cool but um, before we get going please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and if you're new to this channel this is the VW content. I am the vintage VW Volkswagen guy and this is all I do is Beetle and uh, I love it. It's just, it's just I'm a kid in a candy store so all right, so what do we got here, guys? I got a 1955 floor pan here that you see. And it's going uh, back on. Once this body of this 55 ragtop beetle uh, goes back down on this chassis. But before we do, it's, we're going to make it all nice and pretty. And uh, it needed new pans. Now, um, if you need pans for a 55 and earlier beetle, this is the place to go. And it is Classic Fab. He's the guy that uh, does the correct stampings and I'm going to show you some of the characteristics that are different from later floor pans um, that you're going to want to keep for your 55 and earlier beetle. You can get later pans to go on your earlier chassis but there's a few things you're going to have to modify then or try to look out for. So first things first, Gerson floor pans, you're talking $300 a side. Uh, he's the green funky stuff if you ever go to his website and it's classicfab.com with a K and um, he's gotten better. I mean shipment wise this, these came pretty quick uh, within a week's time. They used to take a lot longer uh, but uh, definitely definitely worth it. It's the right gauge, it's the right fitment, the curvature and everything is uh, very very nice. Now these pans do not come with the rails and they do not come with the jack point. So you're gonna to have to save those off of your older pans um, or you would have to buy new. But you're talking $300 a side and that's before shipping. So yeah, you're probably gonna be over 700 bucks, $750, something like that uh, to get these pans. But I think it's well worth it, they're heavy duty. So 55 and earlier Beetle, um, if you can take a look at the rails here, there they go straight right there's no angle on them 56 and later they went to the one angled uh, seat rail so if you have these rails and say you don't have early seat frames and you want to put say later rails uh, I'm sorry later seats on your earlier pan um, they just don't work right I mean that you could put the seat on but once you sit in the seat you could tell that there's something off um, so I think what's going to happen is if you get a later seat frame, say from 56 and later or a 60s Beetle and you throw them on these flat rails, uh, the seat's going to tend to feel like it's sitting forward uh, too much. Now if you have, uh, say, new floor pans that come with the angled rails and you want to put your correct 55 and earlier seat frames on those rails, the seat is going to lean way back and it's going to feel more like a bucket seat. Um, I had that once before in a 51 split that I had uh, the previous owner put new pans on and they kept the angled rails from the new pans on and they put his old seat frame on and it sat like we sat like we're in uh, bucket seats but we did wind up changing that and getting new rails so if your old rails off of your old pan are rotted and they're gone or you don't have them uh, I believe Wolfsburg West does sell the rails uh, but what what is odd with <laughs> the flat seat rails is out of the four rails the leftmost driver's rail is a lot higher. I didn't say a lot higher, but it's it's definitely higher than the other three. Why they did that, I don't know. I think it's to lean the seat away from the door um, because they actually, if you look in the front windshield through the car, you'll see that the seat, the driver's seat, leans towards the center of the car more than the passenger seat. Uh, so if anybody wants to chime in with why that rail is higher, on the driver's side, uh, leave it in the comment section below. Would love to hear your thoughts. <laughs> but uh, I think that's really funny that uh, that one rail. But if you get the new rails from Wolfsburg West, they don't give you that higher rail. They're all the same height. Uh, so and I bought those before and I put them on my early 51 Beetle and the seats went on just fine. So I really didn't have an issue. So, but um, yeah, great pans. You definitely, the, like I said, the fitment and the curvature 
um, onto the spine of the, the chassis. Everything really works nicely. The other thing that's really nice with Gerson's pants is that he's doing the correct uh, threads here um, uh, to mount your pedal cluster. The early ovals had uh, two, two mounting points here uh, for your pedal cluster. Now, if you just get a generic pan, say from CIP1, J-Bugs, Wolfsburg West, something like that, that's not year specific, so to speak. And say maybe it's, you know, anything from 56 to 64 and you throw that down, um, you're gonna have to fabricate something here or save the old section off of the old pan and maybe weld that on. Uh, but uh, yeah, so but at least he gives the threads uh, here in the correct fashion. Because uh, many times you get some aftermarket pans and they have a dip here um, for the pedal cluster. And again, it's not year specific, so you've got to watch out for that. Um, the other thing, too, is the 55 and earlier pans have a different stamping than the later pans. And primarily it's right here. So this section right here, the pan, the later pans have a deeper cutout. So it's going to come up here more and go straight over and then back. Now this is specifically important for the, the passenger side where the battery sits. So, okay, so you got your battery that sits right here under the back seat. If you put an aftermarket pan that's not specific to 55 and earlier on your bug, if you got, you know, if you have an early bug and you just get with a generic pan, um, you know, and the parts, you know, sites will say, oh, it'll work for any year. Well, many times they say from 49 all the way up to say 70 or something. Um, what's going to happen is, is this shaping here is not going to be there, this mold. So the pan, the battery pan section is going to be back a bit more. The problem with that, if you have the correct 55 and earlier seat frames, and I think they, they only work if you go with a later seat frame to go into your early Beetle, especially for the rear bottom backrest, it's not going to fit right. So look at this 55 frame. Look at all the spring here. And you have the cutout here so it doesn't touch the battery. So it's, it's depressed here, right? You can take a look at that. So there's a square second so, section, so the seat springs do not hit the top of the battery. The rest of the frame, I mean, you got springs all throughout the center here. Okay, and in these years too, there's no um, there's no bar, there's no divider bar at the at the that the seat frame rests onto. Okay, so that goes straight across. You know, later later bugs. They got that bar that goes straight across so the bottom rest sits in it. These early years don't have that. So this 56 and later frame here, if you take a look, take a look, it's actually, it's all hollow underneath, right? So if you look in the center here, there's no springs. So good safety feature, of course, as time went on, now you're not going to jeopardize hitting the top of the battery. But those frames I don't believe will work well with these 55 and earlier beetles so what I'm trying to get at is you got to stick with the right frames so if you had this frame going on the wrong floor pan you could jeopardize hitting the battery because say now the battery is going to be sitting back here more and you're going to be maybe hitting but I mean look at these springs look how they jut down here they could touch the top of the battery. So that's all I'm trying to say. I mean, uh, like I said, it's always good to go with the correct stuff. So everything fits right. Everything works right for you. Um, so the other thing too, the, what I always show in my past videos when it comes to doing these pans is, you know, elong make these holes a little bit bigger where the bolt holes are. Just because, you know, I know he's pretty close, Gerson, with his pans. But, you know, depending if you did new heater channels in your car, you know, the holes might not line up correctly, you know, with the, the mounting holes on the heater channel. So make them a little bit bigger. Give yourself a little bit more wiggle room so you can mount the chassis, the body back down in the chassis. Um, you might still have to finagle it a little bit depending on, you know, who did the work on your car. But um, always something to keep in mind. And it's also always a good idea when you put the pan down. 
uh, put some sheet metal screws in here every now and then just to hold the pan in place before you start welding and just check your measurements and such and then when you start welding every couple inches or so you can do a, a spot weld you can then grind those welds down and then seam seal it straight across so all right guys this is the way to do it you want to do floor pans this is the way to do it um, many people ask me hey chris i want to change the floor pans in my car i'm going to do the whole side you know can i do it with the body on uh you probably could somehow but the best way to do it is with the body off and believe me it's more rewarding when you do that and now you really feel like you got the job done correctly and uh you know the car will outlast you at that point you know i mean the it's like a fresh new feeling that you have when you do new floor pans for your Beetle. All right, guys, so that's it. Um, if you guys got any questions, please uh, be sure to leave them in the comments section below this video. And again, please be sure to like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video, which is each and every week in the VW world. And uh, hope you guys find that good. If you got any questions, um, again, just in the comments section below. I'll see you later. Bye. Thank uh you. -huh.